On October 25, 2024, the U.S. Department of Defense announced that Raytheon has secured a significant $900 million contract modification from a U.S. missile defense agency. This two-year extension allows Raytheon to continue its vital operations and maintenance support for the sea-based X-band radar, SBX-1, and 13 Army Navy Transportable Radar Surveillance and Control Model 2 and slash TPY-2 radar systems. The sea-based X-band radar is a critical component of the U.S. ballistic missile defense strategy, known for its unparalleled capability to detect and assess threats from vast distances. As a mobile asset, the SBX-1 plays a pivotal role in tracking and intercepting missile threats, particularly in the geopolitically sensitive Pacific region. Positioned on a self-propelled semi-submersible oil platform, the SBX-1 can quickly adapt its coverage to address evolving geopolitical situations, especially with increasing missile threats from North Korea, China, and Russia. The SBX-1 is equipped with a high-precision X-band radar housed within a massive radome that contains approximately 45,000 transmit-slash-receive modules. This sophisticated technology allows it to detect and differentiate between missiles, decoys, and debris. Remarkably, the radar can track objects as small as a baseball from distances of up to 2,500 miles, relaying critical data back to ground-based interceptors for mid-course corrections. This communication is facilitated by the In-Flight Interceptor Communication System Data Terminal, which enables real-time adjustments to interceptors, enhancing the radar's effectiveness in ballistic missile defense operations. Since its operational debut in 2006, the SBX-1 has been extensively deployed in the Pacific, playing a vital role in supporting defense readiness against North Korean missile tests and other emerging threats. While the radar boasts exceptional tracking precision, recent deployments have revealed both strengths and limitations. The radar's relatively narrow field of view poses challenges in responding to complex scenarios involving multiple missiles or advanced countermeasures, such as decoys. To address these limitations, the SBX-1 has undergone significant upgrades and maintenance in Hawaii improving its structural integrity following a lengthy 662-day deployment. These enhancements aim to bolster its capacity to support intercepts under the increasing demands from the U.S. Space Command and Space Force. Despite its advantages, the SBX program has faced criticism over its high operational costs, attributed to the maintenance-intensive nature of its mobile platform and the necessity for frequent crew rotations. However, the radar's mobility and unique capability to track over oceanic expanses provide it with distinct advantages over land-based systems, particularly in a landscape where missile defense analysts highlight the growing necessity to monitor emerging hypersonic threats that can evade traditional defenses. As discussions surrounding the future of the SBX program continue, there are considerations regarding the potential need for additional units or complementary systems. The evaluation of space-based sensors is also underway aiming to create a more diversified and robust missile defense network.